in this video uh, let us talk about correlation. So, what is correlation? The correlation indicates the linear relationship between two random variables. Uh, what is the relationship between uh, variable A and variable B? Uh, why I said linear? Uh, that is a common correlation coefficient we use that is why it is called linear relationship. Let us look at the other correlation types also. So, the correlation value R um, is to indicate the strength. So, there is a value of R uh, correlation coefficient value R equal to say 0.5 it indicates if x varies y varies in the magnitude of 0.5 uh, the strength of the variations. Also the sign indicates uh, which direction the correlation is it direct or indirect for example if it is positive or equal to plus 0.5 which indicates if x increases y also will increase starkly dependent. If the negative it indicates indirectly dependent. So, it is what happens uh, if x increases y will decrease. So, negative indicates indirect proportional and direct proportional. So, positive and negative is a sign of the uh, correlation coefficient. So, there are different correlation coefficients. The first is Pearson correlation coefficient. It is very common uh, used widely uh, in Excel or in other libraries too. So, the definition we give above is for the Pearson correlation coefficient. There is other correlation coefficient called the Spearman's rank correlation or Kendall's uh, other correlation coefficient available. Let us look at the Pearson correlation in this video. Assume that both x and y are linear this is very important uh, this assumption that s and y are having a linear relationship and uh, Pearson correlation gives minus 1 to plus 1 value uh, it indicates strong negative correlation if it is minus 1 plus 1 indicates strong positive correlation if it is 0 there is no correlation absolutely. So, Pearson correlation coefficient is computed using this formula. Um, I thought of explaining this formula, but it is not needed. So, this formula can be simplified and uh, you can compute Pearson correlation coefficient easily using uh, uh, different tools available or uh, free uh, tools in the web. Let us look at the Pearson correlation, um, let us look at the Pearson correlation coefficient. Uh, if you remember um, we had a marks and attendance of um, 60 students this is a part of the student um, say we have um, we have some 8 students data here and we plotted that attendance and the marks. Uh, do you see there is a correlation between attendance and marks it seems to be right. So, if the attendance increases uh, some of the, uh, the performance increases except these two value uh, this can be uh, like we do not know why it happened. But seems to be there is a relationship. So, the correlation coefficient will be positive because if attendance increases uh, the marks increase. So, it is a positive correlation coefficient and um, so, it is it, it will be a kind of it is a positive correlation coefficient and, uh, and it will be strong it is not very weak because the line is actually trying to match all the points. So, the value is 0.25 that is because we have uh, two uh, values which is below well below this uh, line. So, but it is a positive ok. So, plus 0.25. So, this figure is from Wikipedia and uh, let us look at this figure to understand what is Pearson correlation coefficient. A positive 1 increase uh, sorry positive 1 indicates there is a strong uh, positive correlation if x increases y also increases definitely. So, if x increases y increases and this is a negative correlation coefficient it is strong negative like uh, x y when x increases y decreases. And uh, this is noisy data like 0 0.8, 0 0.8, minus 8, this is noisy data, but still the lot of data, but still there is it is fitting around a particular line. So, it says 0 0.8, 0 0.8 is very strong correlation by the way. So, 0.4 is a weak correlation coefficient, that is not really a good correlation, but 0.4 is weak correlation, and 0 indicates there is no correlation, absolutely there is no correlation between x and y. Uh, we cannot say if x increases, y also increases because x is very low and y is high and x is very high till y is low. So, we cannot say any definite correlation between these two values. Let us look at this line it is very interesting. So, all this value you know except this all this are uh, plus 1. So, we saw that uh, plus 1 indicates uh, positive and strong correlation, but it is not telling anything about the slope that is very very important. 
So, minus 1 does not mean that it is a linear relationship yes, but does not uh, like a strong uh, slope like uh, x increases y also increases in the same order it is not so. So, for example, uh, in a negative uh, correlation uh, if x increases in the magnitude of say 1, 10, 100 y might increase y might increase within say um, within say 8 to 20 or something like that. So, not in the same scale right that is what it indicates. So, Pearson correlation will not tell about the slope ok, it tells it is positive whether the direction is positive and it is strong or not strong that is it ok, magnitude is what I said strong or not strong. Or not strong. Let us look at the last uh, row, it is very interesting this row. Um, so, definitely all of this correlation coefficients are 0 ok and it indicates that there is no uh, linear relationship between x and y, but there is a relationship which is non-linear. For example, so there is a good relationship this particular value this might be high there is a there is a some non-linear relationship is existing right system um, the Pearson correlation coefficient may not tell this relationship because it has uh, no idea what is relationship between x and y, but there is a non-linear non relationship exists between x and y that is some kind of relationship. If you apply uh, some predictive analytics or predictive classifier definitely it will classify very simply using this data because there is a non-linear relationship, but Pearson correlation coefficient cannot tell this that is how the graph. So, this chart is very important to understand Pearson correlation coefficient also its drawbacks for example, uh, it the, the slope is not indicated in a Pearson correlation coefficient value also non-linear um, relationship between x and y is not captured in the Pearson correlation coefficient. So, you saw um, what is Pearson correlation coefficient and you saw the range of its value plus 1 to minus 1 and what plus 1 indicates and you saw what are limitations right. So, uh, can you write down two limitations uh, that we discussed in last slide using Pearson correlation coefficient for diagnostic analytics. So, yeah please write down two limitations uh, after writing it down uh, please continue. So, the slope does not indicate relationship ok, the slope is not captured in the Pearson correlation coefficient also non-linear relationships are not captured and uh, non-linear of x and y is not considered for example, x can be a linear uh, relation, but uh, y is not a linear uh, variable uh, for example, uh, we will discuss this in detail in a uh, next video. For example, if I plot only x, uh, x value x can be linearly increasing this is about only x. If I plot y, y might be like this. So, if I compare x and y there is a very good relationship between x and y although uh, x is linear, y is non-linear that is not important for Pearson correlation coefficient where Pearson will tell you whether if x increases y increases or not ok. We will discuss this in detail with example in this video. So, let us uh, see what is non-linear correlation. Um, uh, if you see this uh, x and x square, if I plot uh, this value uh, x versus x square right, uh, you know that uh, x square is uh, increasing. So, x, uh, that y value is actually like this like uh, so it is not a linear relationship right, but x is actually has a linear scale it is not really a non-linear scale like a 2, 3, 8 within the range right, but the y is in a different scale. Although the x is linear y is non-linear, but the correlation coefficient is 0.95 the reason is um, there is a relationship between x and y if x increases the y increases and uh, if uh, x and y increases there is a strong correlation it is a positive correlation coefficient why 0.95 the difference is just because uh, it tries to find a linear relationship between this. So, for example, it might be trying to find a linear relationship here it might have missed these points or this point or some points like this. So, that is why it is 0.95 otherwise it will go a perfect one right that is uh, the to show 
why Pearson is not considering uh, the linear uh, function of each x and y, it does not consider it. Uh, in general, it should be 1, you know, it's, um, it should be 1, it is a exactly good correlation between uh, x and y, but uh, Pearson cannot find that, the Pearson's formula. Hope you understand uh, what I mean by uh, Pearson do not check uh, the linearity of both x and y. So, y can be non-linear function or variable, but x can be linear function still it cannot uh, identify those relationship. So, in this video we talked about what is correlation and uh, what is Pearson correlation and uh, what are the drawbacks in Pearson correlation. Thank you.